Hello creatives, I am Rosha Rosa. I'm a creative consultant for creative brands, professionals, and projects. And this month I'm doing a 30 videos in 30 days challenge where I'm talking all about how to break into different creative careers and what it means to be a creative professional. So without further ado, let's get to the video. So in today's video, we are going to continue on the theme of marketing yourself and your creative project and specifically we're going to talk a little bit about my advice for pinterest marketing now i had um, a, a longer video um, from a couple months ago where i tested out pinterest ads and what that was like uh, but in terms of pinterest marketing here's just like a few key takeaways that um, i can give you if you are looking at pinterest as a potential way to market your project, your brand, and what have you. Um, Pinterest is a search engine, first and foremost. Like, it is a visual search engine. When you create a pin, there needs to be something connected to it um, because if someone were to click through it, there needs to be a landing page and there needs to be something related to your brand um, because it is a, is a Pinterest as a whole is really good for brand awareness um, and is really good for building up your brand in as, a, as a thought leader, as um, as content marketing platform. It is really good for that. Like, but again, with other content marketing type stuff, it is a long game. You, you're playing the long game when, you're, when you decide to choose content marketing as one of your strategies, which you should. Um, you definitely should have content marketing as one of your strategies. Uh, but if Pinterest is going to be part of that mar content marketing, um, for sure, it needs to be evergreen content. Um, because once it's pinned, and what are the chances of you going back and editing those pins? Slim to none. So whatever you pin and whatever you link it back to, it needs to be evergreen content. It needs to be an evergreen offer, an evergreen webinar, an evergreen... Um, product so to speak because it's um because the pins don't age so to speak uh, the algorithm seems to be changing lately to prefer newer content um, which is kind of sad because that means you'll have to add you'll, ha you'll have to post more often and you'll have to do more content but it also creates an avenue for really upping your repurposing game you can take one blog post and turn it into like 20 different pins or one YouTube video snippets and turn it into lots of different pins. Um, you can have several pins going to the same landing page. You just take different quotes or different tidbits from whatever product you're selling and put it in a pin and it all goes back to the same thing. So people are, it, it gives an opportunity for people to search up different types of keywords associated with the product or the service or whatever um, that you're trying to raise awareness for and so uh, it's it's good for that and because you need evergreen content um, you also need to be aware that Pinterest is better for longer buy cycles like it's good for brand awareness for evergreen content and longer buy cycles. So say you're a service provider and you're on Pinterest and you someone likes your pins and it's they're engaging with some of the, the pins that you do that you're that you're working with, they click through a pin, they see a product or a service that maybe I mean I've done this. I, this might be anecdotal, but maybe they can't afford it right now, but they really like the other stuff that you're pinning and the stuff that you're working on. So they'll put it in their board to save it for later. And then when they are ready, they'll go back through their pins, click on it, and be brought back to your webinar, your workbook, your landing page for a course or what have you. And it's a really valuable, sort, valuable tool to have for people who have a longer buy cycle. Um, so that is my advice. For Pinterest marketing, um, the, in, in some, it's a search engine, it's good for evergreen content, and it is good for longer buy cycles. When you're making pins, make it visual, play around with video because they seem to be um, 
adding video content to their algorithm. So play around with that, see what works, what doesn't. Um, it doesn't seem like they care if there's a watermark on it, so you can probably repurpose Instagram and TikToks and stuff like that. So that's an avenue you should pursue and try out and test out. I encourage you to do that. Uh, just have fun with it. Um, but that is all I have for today. Let me know um, if you like this video uh, in the comments below. I will put some links in the description. If you need help with your uh, social media strategy, I am open for one-on-one -on -one bookings. So I'll put that link in the description below. Uh, like this video, subscribe, because I have plenty more content coming your way. And with that said, I will see you in the next video.